Friends, in this video we will see how to show more than one map on a single layout. So suppose I am having the six raster layers. These are rainfalls of different years for a district for 2011 to 2016. So how to show all the maps in a single layout. So for that we will define the area for one layer first. Like for 2011 I am showing. Suppose this is my area. This is the layout for one image. You can take help of this pan and maximize the area you want to maximize the view. So now this is my final layout for one map. Now just you have to select click on control and then drag it for the second layer. So now two layouts are there, two maps are there. Now you can select both, click on control and then copy it again. Similarly, now this is the sixth one. We have six maps on a single layout. Now one by one we have to give. You can arrange by control, you can shift somewhat, this is overlapping. You can select one by one or all three ones and then press shift and then right arrow by this you can arrange it now suppose this is the final layout for all the six maps so one by one you have to give the legend for each so for that you need to click on each layout separately suppose i am giving legend for this you have to click on this then insert the legend so we need only for 2011 then click next finish so this legend is for this one we can arrange it this legend by double click clicking on the legend then go to items and select this one this layer and then style here we can arrange it like horizontal and click ok apply so now this is the this is the legend for this we can also remove these things like legend and values by again going to the properties of the legend and like I don't want this heading click ok ok and then again general I, I don't want to show this legend ok now this is the legend for one again since we know that this is high and this is low you can directly remove from here double click on this go to symbology and just value you can keep and you can remove other things high and low and then apply ok so this is the legend this raster again for better visibility you can go with increasing the font size keep it bold apply and ok so now this is visible so you can keep like this in similar way we have to add all the legend suppose i want to add for this again i have to go for legend insert legend and then this is for 20, 2012 next this legend is for this one 2012 so for that we have to this is the second one so we need only we, we have to we have to check only the layer you want to show so this is 2012 now again we will arrange this legend similarly go to properties no headings okay then make it like 16 bold general we have to remove this so this is how it will look then you have to remove this also okay since all the layouts are of same size so we need only one scale so insert 
scale bar we can keep property like this number of divisions 1 and subdivision 2 then miles you can keep it in kilometer and you can for showing only km ok so this scale is will be common for all but legend you have to keep separate for each because see variability in this is 97 to 331 and this is 39 to 274 so for visualizing you will see that the lowest value will be for 97 and highest value for 31 331 and in this case this lowest value will be 39 and the highest value will be 274 so the highest the maximum green is here is 274 but here maximum green is 331 okay and the maximum red is here 97 and in this case it is 39 so if you want to compare these things it is not possible since all are not on equal scale of this legend so how to deal with it i will be showing in another video before that we can complete this mapping by adding like insert text and write like 2011 double click it and change the symbol we should increase the font size like 18 okay apply so this map is to the, for 2011 and this will be for 2012 similarly we have to add legends and this numbers to all so in, in the next video we will see how to give the common legend here we have used the common scale and common north arrow we can use but common legend for all the raster how to give that that we will see in the next video Thank you for watching.